Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial here on our channel Dunkcode US and of course if you are liking the content please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel okay so in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you a little bit uh, about CSS and uh, this little bit is gonna be more than enough for you to start to create your first websites and applying styles okay all right First things first, we need to create a new document, just as we made in the past video. So uh, right click here in our desktop and I'm going to choose a test document and uh, <laughs> if you are asking why this is in English and this is in Portuguese is because right now my system is updating the language. So let's keep moving, okay? Uh, new test document and we are going to make the same process as we make in the last video. But now I'm going to choose to open with... Uh, notepad as you can see okay and now we are gonna save this uh, as index.html the same thing we did in the last video okay so now I have my index.html right here this I don't need anymore I'm gonna put into the trash and now guys uh, we are gonna start making our HTML document just as we uh, make made in the last video but in this video we are going to style a little bit okay so HTML close the HTML tag now body and we close body actually I'm gonna use tab like this okay body and I'm gonna put here like h1 h1 and I'm gonna, I'm gonna write hello world now if I save this file save and try to open let me show you here we have the same thing that we did in the last video okay but the difference now sorry guys I'm just trying to split like this my screen and okay now I'm gonna uh, put some color in this text how can I do that so uh, we can apply some styles, okay, and to apply styles, I'm gonna use the hit tag and apply inside the hit tag. And now, here inside the hit tag, you are gonna write the tag style and you are gonna close the tag style, like this. And inside the style tag, we can write our properties, okay, and if I wanna apply some color to all h1 tags I do like this h1 I open and close brackets all right oh so let me just do like this this notepad is not good for coding but yeah let's keep moving let me actually do like this like this like this yeah this, this is okay this is okay for for the purpose of the tutorial so inside our brackets we can put the properties that we want and these properties can be like color size of the font and so on so let's put our color red and see what's going to happen let's save the file and refresh our document as you can see the color changed immediately and are all the tags that we put like with h1 you can see that they are gonna be red let's save and I'm going to put put here like uh, hello world 2 I'm gonna save and hello world 2 nice so this is how you uh, apply style to your website but color uh, is not the only property that we have if I want make this uh, the size of our font smaller I can do that too so font size I'm gonna uh, say that is 15 pixels and I'm gonna save it and refresh as you can see now I'm changing also the font but here comes the first problem so if I want to have one h1 and another h1 but I don't want the same style to be applied how can I do that so now we are gonna work with classes okay and classes are like this so I apply a class here saying this is uh, text 1 and here I have text 2 let's save the result is the same but now I have control because I can do like this for I 
apply some styles for this tag with this class, I can say h1 dot the name of the class, text1. And now I can apply whatever style I want. So if I want to put like uh, color green and my font size to be 12 pixels, no, 12 pixels is too small, like 19 pixels. And let's save and check this. As you can see, now this class with uh, the tag h1 with the class text1, I have the color green because it is right here. Now you understand how we can uh, structure our, our website and this is basically it. So now if I want to apply another style here for uh, text2, I put like h1, sorry, h1.text2 and I'm going to apply the styles. Uh, I'm going to put the color blue this time and let's save it. Nice. Okay, so now you know the basics of CSS. But, uh, and if you if we want to have another file to import instead of putting all in the HTML file, how can we do this to keep all things organized? So, I'm going to just control X to cut this and I'm going to put the following code, link href and I'm going to say style that dot CSS and hell is equal style shit and I'm going to close this, okay? Now, we are going to create a folder here to put our website, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call website, I'm going to put the index inside here and I'm going to create another file that I'm gonna call new, it's gonna be, let's call, let's save this as inside our website folder, style.css, like this, okay? Now we have two files, the index file right here, open with, again, uh, notepad. Let me show you guys, we have the index here, okay? And now we create the style.css. Remember, uh, it has to be in the same folder. So here with our style file, I'm gonna control V all the styles that we had had before. Let's just keep this organized. I'm gonna break the line in here like this, like this, like this. Yeah, this just to keep organized, okay? And let's save. And if I refresh, uh, I can't find the file because the file now is inside the folder. So let's close the browser, okay? And inside the folder, right click and we are gonna open again. Because as we put the file in this folder, we need to update as well, like this. So as you can see, we have the same result, but now our styles uh, of our website is in another file. This is good to keep our document organized. As you can see, is way better like this, okay? So just before we finish this class about CSS, let's try to create uh, a new tag that I didn't show you before, but this tag is called div and we close a div, div is like a division of your website, okay? So uh, inside each div you can put content, images, whatever, use div for make a division of each section of your website. So uh, if I put my div like this, and for example, if I wanna put my h1 inside this div like this, I'm gonna show you let me just organize this, okay? If I refresh, uh, you're going to see that nothing changes. This is because G, uh, our div here doesn't have any styles, but if I go to my style.css file and in my div, uh, I'm gonna not gonna put any classes, I'm just uh, gonna put the div here. If I wanna define uh, width and height, I can do that, so width, I can put like uh, 300 pixels and our height also 300 pixels and I can also put a new property background background color and I'm gonna put black let's save this and refresh as you, you can see we have now a div here in our website 
with the h1 tag inside and now we have these properties that uh, you can change for whatever you want if you want the width uh, to be like 100% of your screen, you can put like this, 100%. This is really good when you start working with uh, mobile devices. So, you, as you can see. Uh, you can see also that here has a margin and a, uh, a padding. Uh, this is the default for our browser, so if you want to reset this and keep all very clean, you, you can put this symbol to basically apply the same style for all the uh, elements that exists and we are going to say that margin zero and our padding is also zero so let's save this and refresh and boom as you can see our website is now taking the full browser okay so guys in this tutorial that was it uh, as you can see we have a lot to cover but for this video to keep everything really simple we are gonna stop here if you like please leave a comment uh, and leave a like as well and i hope you like the video that's it guys thank you very much and i see you in our next class thank you